We've already mentioned configuring the interface, but let's have a closer look at just some of the things you can do to change the look and feel of the Hiax Chess Explorer interface. Now, as I say, we mentioned uh, resizing panes just by going over the edge and then clicking and dragging, um, and that the other panes would resize appropriately, like that. But you can actually change uh, whether some of these panes are visible at all. If you go up to that view menu that we talked about earlier, you can close areas down. So let's say, for instance, we want to close down the Game Explorer. You can see the Game Explorer pane has gone completely and the other panes have uh, expanded to fill that space, so you've got a nice big board now. Again, you can just play around with that, make sure you've got the, the biggest side of, size of both. That will close down the Analysis Explorer as well. This way we've got the Game Notation, the Opening Explorer and the board. And obviously if we jumped into a middle game position where nothing would be in the Opening Explorer, Explorer you could close that down as well. Just have the board and the notation. There's a few things that you can do to um, change the appearance as well. Let's uh, go into the configuration here by clicking this little cog icon, Configure Hiax Chess Explorer. You can change some of the colors, so the colors of the highlighted, ex highlighted squares, etc. Uh, but perhaps more importantly, you can change the look and style of the board and pieces. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at the board style. At the moment it's set to light wood, but if we pick something like, say, uh, sky blue, you can see we get that sort of bluey grey uh, colour that people quite often uh, prefer, and you can just you can. There's two ways to um, to accept this. If you cl click Apply, then the changes will be made, but this window will stay open. If you click OK, the changes will be made and the window will close. So we'll just click Apply. You can see that board has changed colour now. So you've got that bluey uh, bluey grey colour. You can also change the chess set. So at the moment it's set to Alpha. You can set it to a Leipzig, which again changes the set. So if we click Apply, you can see the pieces, the style of the pieces change. Let's do that again. UCF, uh, click Apply, and you can see we've got a whole different style of pieces. Uh, the final thing we need to look at, uh, we've got uh, the layout here, is this the size of the fonts used in the game notation. So if we go back into our configure configuration options, go into the advanced tab, you can see the game fonts here, it's set to a 12 point, 12 point is the size of the, t of the font. Obviously here's a list of fonts on your computer, you can change them uh, as you wish different styles but we're, we're looking now uh, specifically at the sizes so if we wanted to shrink it down so that uh, you could fit a lot of notation in the window you could choose something smaller I'll choose 8 just for now click OK and then obviously click OK again and you can see that the game notation is much smaller but it's all fitting in the in the game uh, notation pane or if you just have trouble seeing it or you want to have it much much bigger you can change that too so let's uh, pick something a great deal bigger, 38, uh, 28, 36, let's choose OK and OK. And there we go, much, much bigger, so you get a really close-up view of the notation and the annotations. So these are all different options that you can use to play around with the look and feel of Hiax Chess Explorer. Uh, I'd recommend that you just keep going, keep playing around with them until you get the look and feel that you're happy with.